Hello everyone, I'm Divya Jyoti Das and this is the YouTube channel for Elevate Classes. Today we are going to discuss a very important and very interesting phenomena called Compton Effect. And we are going to do this discussion from the perspective of students who are preparing for various examinations like Physics IIT JAM, PIFR, JEST, CUET, PG, etc. The Compton Effect Johai plays a very important role in the development of modern physics because it demonstrates particle aspects of radiation. So, we will discuss it briefly discuss karenge, and then we are going to do some problems that have come in previous years' papers of those examinations. So, let us begin. The Compton effect hota kya hai? It is essentially an interaction between radiation and matter. When a photon ek electron at rest ke interact karta hai, what happens? Well, Compton effect ye hai that the interaction between a photon and an electron at rest is the same as that of a elastic collision between two particles. Just like the elastic collision between two balls happen, usi se, the interaction between a photon and an electron can be predicted in a similar fashion. So, for example, if you have an incident radiation that interacts with an electron at rest, us incident radiation ka jo energy hota hai, it is E is equal to H nu. Or us electron ka jo rest mass energy hota hai that is nothing but e naught is equal to m naught c square now after the interaction what happens is that the incident photon gets scattered in a particular direction with a certain change in its frequency and the change in its frequency arises due to loss of energy so the incident photon which initially had a frequency of nu and a lambda of let's suppose lambda okay and it gets scattered at a particular angle with the frequency nu dash and lambda lambda dash then the energy is equal to h nu dash now this change in its frequency is a result of the loss of energy that it experiences because it imparts that energy to the electron so that now the electron is in motion so the electron is in motion so electron ka jo total energy hai it is the relativistic energy which is essentially equal to m0 square c to the power 4 plus p square c square. So, the direction in which this kind of a scattering happens, usme, let's say that the photon is scattered at a direction of theta. So, essentially, we replicate the interaction between a photon of frequency nu with that of an electron which is at rest in the same way that we assume the collision between two balls, all right? In such a manner that if a ball is in motion, it hits another ball at rest, then the moving ball imparts some of its kinetic energy to the rest ball so that now the rest ball also starts moving by consuming some of the energy of the first particle. So therefore, conservation law of energy, conservation law of momentum holds very much true. So by applying this kind of an idea, interaction between radiation and matter, we can explain why the shift in the frequency of the incident photon happens. So every time an incident photon gets scattered, scattered photon has a different frequency, a lesser frequency or a greater wavelength. And this scattered photon has a frequency or wavelength that depends upon the angle of scattering. Now based on these assumptions, if we make a calculation for the wavelength shift, what is wavelength shift? Well, if lambda dash is the wavelength of the scattered electron, then lambda dash minus lambda, which is the wavelength of the incident electron, which is equal to delta lambda, is equal to h upon m naught c 1 minus cos theta. This is known as the wavelength shift or Compton shift. This formula correctly predicts the amount of wavelength shift that happens at a particular direction when incident radiation interacts with matter and it is experimentally validated. Therefore, this nature of interaction of how a wave interacts with a particle, uh, just like elastic collision of two balls, is accepted and thus validates the particle nature of radiation. Now, if you look at this particular formula, the maximum wavelength shift happens whenever the incident radiation is scattered completely backwards. So, for example, if the shift is happening at an angle of 180 degrees or theta is equal to pi in that situation the maximum amount of wavelength shift or Compton shift happens in that situation delta lambda is equal to h upon m naught c 1 minus cos pi all right so cos 
pi what is cos pi cos pi is equal to minus 1 so this equals to h upon m naught c 1 plus 1 so this equals to 2 h upon m naught c now this quantity h upon m naught c this is also known as compton wavelength so this is called 2 lambda c lambda c which is known as compton wavelength this actually has a value of 0.024 angstroms so it's important to remember this formula okay just remember the formula as well as the value of the compton wavelength so without going too much into the detail it's possible that we can go into the derivation of how we derive this particular expression you can take up any standard textbook and by applying the conservation of energy and conservation of momentum and by applying the conservation of relativistic energy and conservation of momentum they can easily demonstrate how this formula is obtained now let us go into a couple of problems that have come in previous years papers of these examinations so that you can get familiarized with uh, the kinds of questions that are coming so sabse pehle hum easy sawal se start karte hain so this is a very simple straightforward question that you have a photon of wavelength lambda is incident on a free electron at rest and is scattered in the backward direction the fractional shift in its wavelength in terms of the compton wavelength lambda c of the electron is how much bahut hi simple bahut hi straightforward question hai you can pause the video and try to do this question yourself take 2 minutes max usse zyada time lagna nahi chahiye come back to the video and cross check the answer so let us start jaisa ki maine bataya the change in wavelength is given by del lambda is equal to h upon m not c 1 minus cos theta because it's coming in the backward direction abhi maine similar calculation hi kiya tha thodi der pehle h upon m not c backward direction mein aane ka matlab hai that theta is equal to pi right 180 degrees so this becomes 1 minus cos pi which is 1 minus minus 1 so 1 plus 1 so 2 h upon m not c so 2 lambda c the fractional shift ka matlab kya hai fractional shift ka matlab hai the change in wavelength upon the original wavelength so this is equal to 2 lambda c upon lambda so that's it <laughs> isme karna kya tha kuch bhi nahi tha this was a question in jam physics uh, id jam 2008 so isme kuch bhi nahi tha 2 lambda c upon lambda this is the answer that is required now this is the next question for you a beam of x rays of wavelength 0.2 nanometers is incident on a free electron and gets scattered in a direction with respect to the direction of the incident radiation resulting in maximum wavelength shift the percentage loss or percentage energy loss of the incident radiation is how much ye yeah, iit jam 2013 ka question hai math type question hai numerical answer type so you can pause the video try to do this question yourself uh, take a couple of minutes and then come back to the video to check your answer with mine. Okay, so let us start. Beam of X-rays of wavelength 0.2 nanometers is given to us. Is incident on a free electron and gets scattered in a direction with respect to the direction of the incident radiation resulting in maximum wavelength shift. Now I said what Maximum wavelength shift is direction mein hota hai? What did I just say? Maximum wavelength shift hamesha 180 degrees mein hota hai backwards. Matlab theta is equal to pi. So agar maximum wavelength shift hai, to what is del lambda? Matlab what is the wavelength shift? That is equal to twice lambda c. Abhi abhi thoi der pehle mene proof kiya hai. Nei to dubara lik deta hun. Thik hai? H upon m naught c 1 minus cos theta. Cos pi likhenge to 1 plus 1 2 ho jayega. 2 h upon m naught c h upon m naught c is the compton wavelength so 2 lambda c now lambda c kya hai lambda c is something that you need to remember okay this is very important 0.024 angstrom so ye ban jata hai 2 times 0.024 angstroms so ye ban jata hai aapka 0.048 angstrom so that means the wavelength shift is already now we have calculated now, we calculate karna hai percentage energy loss of the incident radiation. So, what is the percentage energy loss? Usse pehle hum energy loss calculate kar lete hai. Hai? What is the energy loss? Energy loss kya hai? 
इंसिडेंट रेडिएशन का जो एनर्जी माइनस स्कैटर्ड रेडिएशन का जो एनर्जी राइट वॉट इज इंसिडेंट रेडिएशन का एनर्जी एच सी अपॉन लैमडा और इज स्कैटर्ड रेडिएशन का एनर्जी एच सी अपॉन लैमडा डैश एज सिंपल एज दैट तो इसको अगर हम डिटेल में लिखेंगे दिस बिकम्स लैमडा लैमडा डैश एच सी हो गया आपका कॉमन लैमडा डैश माइनस लैमडा तो यहाँ पे आपका आ जाता है एच सी डेल लैमडा अपॉन लैमडा लैमडा डैश तो यहाँ पे हमें मिल जाएगा एच सी अपॉन लैमडा टाइम्स डेल लैमडा अपॉन लैमडा डैश नाउ यहाँ पे हमें बोला गया है परसेंटेज एनर्जी लॉस तो परसेंटेज एनर्जी लॉस के लिए हमें डेल ई e नहीं चाहिए आई कैन सिंप्लीफाई इट फर्दर सो परसेंटेज एनर्जी लॉस इज इक्वल टू डेल ई अपॉन ई इन फैक्ट द एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ दिस सो हम इसको मॉड्यूलर्स के अंदर लगा सकते हैं डेल ई अपॉन ई टाइम्स हंड्रेड परसेंट बिकॉज परसेंटेज एनर्जी लॉस चाहिए तो वट इज डेल ई डेल ई इज एच सी अपॉन लैमडा टाइम्स डेल लैमडा अपॉन लैमडा डैश ना वट इज ई ई इज इक्वल टू दिस वन एच सी अपॉन लैमडा राइट तो हम इसको लिख देते एच सी अपॉन लैमडा तो ये तो कैंसिल हो गया ना एच सी अपॉन लैमडा एच सी अपॉन लैमडा ये तो कैंसिल हो गया तो इसको हम ब्रैकेट में डाल के हंड्रेड परसेंट से मल्टीप्लाई कर देते हैं तो फाइनली हमें कैलकुलेट करना क्या है दैट्स ए डेल लैमडा अपॉन लैमडा डैश इन टू हंड्रेड परसेंट इट्स सच ए सिंपल एंड स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड क्वेश्चन ठीक है मैक्सिमम वेबलेंट शिफ्ट के लिए पाई हो गया थीटा डेल लैमडा हमने कैलकुलेट कर लिया डेल ई अपॉन ई का रेशियो हमने फाइंड आउट कर लिया सो नाउ आई जस्ट नीड टू डू वट डेल लैमडा अपॉन लैमडा डैश इन टू हंड्रेड परसेंट बट द क्वेश्चन इज वट इज लैमडा डैश ओके लैमडा डैश इज एक्चुअली द वेव लेंथ ऑफ द स्कैटर्ड रेडिएशन सो वट इज लैमडा डैश लैमडा डैश इज इक्वल टू द वेव लेंथ ऑफ द इंसिडेंट रेडिएशन प्लस द शिफ्ट इन द वेव लेंथ राइट तो लैमडा यहाँ पे हमें क्या दिया हुआ है लैमडा इज गिवेन टू बी जीरो पॉइंट टू नैनोमीटर्स तो उसको अगर हम एंगस्ट्रॉन्ग्स के टर्म पे लिखेंगे तो वो हो जाएगा टू एंगस्ट्रॉन्ग्स प्लस वट इज डेल लैमडा वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड डेट एज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर एट एंगस्ट्रॉन्ग्स ठीक है तो ये कितना हुआ तो ये एंगस्ट्रॉन्ग्स में आएगा दिस इज टू पॉइंट जीरो फोर एट एंगस्ट्रॉन्ग्स नाउ इसको अगर हम सब्सटीट्यूट करेंगे यहाँ पे वट इज डेल लैमडा जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर एट एंगस्ट्रॉन्ग्स डिवाइडेड बाई टू पॉइंट जीरो फोर एट एंगस्ट्रॉन्ग्स इन टू हंड्रेड परसेंट इसको अगर हम सिंप्लीफाई करेंगे दिस शुड बी जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू थ्री इन टू हंड्रेड परसेंट सो द आंसर इज टू पॉइंट थ्री परसेंट समथिंग लाइक दैट अप्रॉक्सीमेटली इसमें एक फोर भी आना चाहिए सो ये आ जाएगा टू पॉइंट थ्री फोर परसेंटेज तो ये नैट टाइप आंसर है सो दिस इज द नैट टाइप आंसर द न्यूमेरिकल आंसर टाइप टू पॉइंट थ्री फोर शुड बी द आंसर so you see the question was not that difficult it is a straight forward question aapne maximum wavelength shift se theta pata kar liya fir aapne maximum wavelength shift obtain kiya fir fractional loss in energy and percentage loss this is how it goes the next question is as follows x rays of 20 kilo electron volt energy is scattered inelastically from a carbon target the kinetic energy transferred to the recoiling electron by photon scattered at 90 degrees with respect to the incident beam is how much is a question from physics iit jam 2016 ye bhi nat type question hai and this is also a straight forward question by the way so you can pause the video try the question yourself ab tak to thoda sa apne experience ho hi gaya kis tarah ke questions aa rahe hain try the question come back to this video and cross check your answer now the question is that the kinetic energy transferred to the recoiling electron kinetic energy transferred to the recoiling electron matlab that the photon loses okay kinetic energy electron gains is equal to energy photon loses because photon or electron hi to interact kar raha hai so the amount of energy the photon will lose that is the amount of energy that the electron will gain so the kinetic energy transferred to the recoiling electron is equal to the loss of the photon energy now photon energy loss can find out karne ke liye we need to find out the wavelength shift right so let's calculate the wavelength shift which is delta lambda so let delta lambda is equal to h upon m not c 1 minus cos theta theta kitna diya hua hai theta sawal mein already diya hua hai that is 90 degrees so this is equal to h upon m not c 1 minus 0 so this is equal to h upon m not c 
विच इज इक्वल टू लेमना सी लेमना सी का वैल्यू तो आपको मालूम ही है क्या है जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू फोर एंड्रॉन्स अब फोटोन एनर्जी लॉस कितना है लेट्स कैलकुलेट दैट फोटोन एनर्जी लॉस इज इक्वल टू ई माइनस ई डैश सिमिलर टू द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन माई दे भैया सो दिस इज एच सी अपॉन लैमडा माइनस एच सी अपॉन लैमडा डैश सो दिस इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच एच सी लैमडा डैश माइनस लैमडा डिवाइडेड बाई लैमडा लैमडा डैश सो दिस इज इक्वल टू एच सी डेल लैमडा अपॉन लैमडा लैमडा डैश तो यहाँ पे डेल लैमडा हमको मालूम है लेकिन यहाँ पे हमें और क्या चाहिए और कुछ नहीं चाहिए यही पूछा गया है राइट सो बट एच सी अपॉन लैमडा क्या है एच सी अपॉन लैमडा एंड देन वी हैव डेल लैमडा अपॉन लैमडा डैश एच सी अपॉन लैमडा इज नथिंग बट ई द एनर्जी ऑफ द इनिशियल sort of incident radiation and then you have del lambda upon lambda dash so hc upon lambda is equal to so e is equal to 20 kilo electron volt so x rays of 20 kilo electron volt energy is scattered right so e is equal to essentially sawal ka matlab yahi hai that jo original energy hai that is equal to 20 kilo electron volt to isko agar e ke jagah pe hum substitute karenge to what should we get we should get something like 20 किलो का मतलब है 10 टू दी पावर 3 इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट मतलब 1.6 पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन टू दी पावर माइनस नाइनटीन अब हमें चाहिए डेल्टा लैमडा तो डेल लैमडा तो डेल लैमडा इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू फोर एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग बट वट इज लैमडा डैश आई डोंट नो आई नीड टू कैलकुलेट इट राइट तो लैमडा डैश को कैलकुलेट करते हैं लैमडा डैश इज इक्वल टू लैमडा प्लस डेल लैमडा राइट ऑरिजिनल लैमडा कितना था प्लस द शिफ्ट तो ऑरिजिनल लैमडा इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच हमने अभी तक कैलकुलेट नहीं किया है तो ओरिजिनल लैमडा को पहले कैलकुलेट कर लेते हैं ठीक है सो ई इज इक्वल टू कैसे कैलकुलेट करेंगे वो एनर्जी के वैल्यू से कैलकुलेट करेंगे ई इज इक्वल टू एच सी अपॉन लैमडा ठीक है सो व्हाट इज लैमडा लैमडा इज इक्वल टू एच सी अपॉन ई सो कैलकुलेट कर लेते हैं वॉट इज एच सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स टू सिक्स इंटू टेन टू दी पावर माइनस थर्टी क्या है थ्री इंटू टेन टू दी पावर एट एंड देन यू हैव E, which is 20 kilo electron volt, so 20 into 10 to the power 3 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. In sab ko solve karne ke baad hume kya milta hai? 0.6212 angstroms. Ye milta hai. You can cross check yourself also. So then finally, hume lambda dash chahiye tha. Lambda dash is equal to lambda. Lambda is equal to 0.6212. 6212 angstrom plus del lambda which is equal to 0.024 angstrom dono ka sum ho jata hai 0.6452 angstrom so if i plug this uh, into our original this equation to yahan pe mujhe milega 0.6452 dono angstrom mein hai so now i just need to solve this if i solve this what should i get agar main isko multiply nahi karta hu i can still uh, come up with the term in terms of electron volt so in that situation we should get 0.75 kilo electron volt 1.6 into the power minus 19 ko side mein rakhta hu because then i can write it as kilo electron volts okay so this is the answer to our question 0.75 kilo electron volt so these are the kinds of questions that may come in uh, examinations like physics iit jam and even in other examinations like jest cuet etc so the questions are very straight forward as long as you understand uh, what compton wavelength is as long as you understand wavelength shift so you can calculate the changes in energy fractional changes in wavelength percentage loss or percentage gain of energy etc etc so i am divya jyoti das and this is the youtube channel for elevate classes in my next video i am going to talk about de broglie hypothesis and the various questions related to that so till then thank you very much have a nice day